Hey guys, happy Thursday. I hope you guys jammed out to some everything is awesome video. Um, but we're gonna start talking about our suitcase again. So we talked about how traits were those things that made us who we are, those characteristics. Well, and I told you guys some of the characteristics that make up me. And some of you probably got a kick out of the fact that I talked about my bushy eyebrows and you know, my long fingers. Well, now we're gonna talk about some of those traits, that other word that we talked about, acquired traits. So acquired traits are things that you get along the way and you add them to your suitcase. So we're gonna talk about those now. We're gonna put those in addition to all of these super cool ones that I was born with. So these are my traits that I was born with. Now we're gonna add a whole new set to go into my suitcase. Are you ready for these? Because I don't know if you are. I don't know if you can handle this. It's like, have you ever heard the, you can't handle the truth? Well, here you go. So, <clears throat> are you ready? Here's, here is one that um, totally had to be acquired along the way because um, there's no way that I was ever even exposed to it as a kid. Are you ready? loves guac. I am a guacamole fanatic. And the crazy thing is, neither one of my parents like guacamole. And I don't know if it's because it's green or if it's because it's gooey or what, but neither one of my parents will even touch it. Um, if we go out to a restaurant with my parents, they freak out whenever I have guacamole. It's crazy. Um, I actually didn't even start eating until like Mm, about eight years ago. Is that not crazy? Because um, that's about how old Tucker is. All right, so this guy's going to be put in my suitcase with the others. All right, long hair. I go through super crazy phases of short hair, long hair, short hair, long hair, and this is something that I have acquired along the way, especially this is quarantine hair because it needs to be chopped off. Um, I think we'll all have long hair after we can all get back out and go to the barber shop and to the beauty shops. So this is an acquired trait. All right, you ready? Boom, athletic. Um, I love to run. Running is one of my all time most favorite hobbies, pastimes, whatever. Um, and I've always loved to run since I was in middle school. Um, it's just something fun to do. Um, and also you're staying in shape and staying healthy along the way. Uh, I love to play soccer. I love to throw a football. I love to throw a baseball. Um, all of those things are things that go along with being athletic. That's something that I acquired along the way. Um, is that something I was born with? No. Was I a little tiny baby in the hospital and kicking a soccer ball? No. Been kind of cool, but no, not, not at all. All right, last one, outdoorsy. I am an outdoorsy person. I want to be outside all the time. Um, tried to do a video a little while ago outside. Didn't work out because it's too windy today. Hopefully, we'll get some outdoor videos pretty soon. But all of these things are now my acquired traits. I picked these guys up along the way. I was not born with any of these things. They're things that I developed along the way. I acquired them, whether it was because I was around people who maybe liked guacamole and I started eating it. Um, I first fell in love with being outside whenever, I don't know, whenever I was little and I would take books outside and read and I would go for hikes and things like that outside. Um, being athletic, um, I think that was something that I picked up along the way, uh, just wanting to get outside and stay healthy. And then my long hair definitely came from having to be inside with the coronavirus. Um, no, I don't have it, but because we can't go to the beauty shops. So those are all things that I have acquired along the way. Now, the thing is, these guys, these acquired traits, they get added to the ones from the other day that I told you guys about, my inherited traits. And when you mush them all together, all of these traits end up becoming me. These traits get put into my suitcase. And now all of this gets packed in to the package that is me. And by doing this, I become an individual. Now, is that to say that my sister may not have, or may have the exact same traits as me? She has a lot of them, but not all of them. 
And so our traits are things that are individual to us. Um, animals are the same way. I'm about to show you guys a video. We'll snap from this one to another video about how animals share traits, but then they also have individual traits that are specific to each one of them, no matter what type of animal they are. Plants are the same way. All of those individual traits make up who we are. If it's an inherited trait, we were born with it. So these can be things like stripes on a tiger. These can be things like um, a long neck of a giraffe. It can be uh, the shape of a leaf, whether it's uh, rounded or the all kinds of crazy shaped ones. Um, acquired traits, those are gonna be things that happen along the way. Let's say that there's a terrible fight in the African savanna and all of a sudden this big giant lion has a scar across his face, like scar on Lion King, right? Well, now he's got a scar across his face and that's an acquired trait. He was not born with that scar. What about if you see a big giant oak tree outside and there's a really bad storm and all of a sudden one of the branches gets broken and it's not broken all the way, but it just kind of dips a little bit now. Is that something that that tree was born with? That it grew as it was getting big and tall? No, it's something that it acquired along the way. It picked it up along the way and now it's part of its suitcase. So when we talk about these traits, I want you to think about each thing, whether it's an animal or a plant or a person, and I want you to think about the suitcase that they carry. Is the stuff inside of it, is it an acquired trait or is it an inherited trait? And if so, what are those things? Are they exactly what is it?